Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here with my main smartphone, my Galaxy Note 3 versus the Samsung Galaxy S5 and a quick little video here, I want to check it out and of course it's hard to go over everything in, in each video so start off here with the uh, brand new Galaxy S5 uh, has a little bit bigger display than the Galaxy S4 from last year uh, it comes with a 5.1 inch display uh, compared to last year 5 inch on the Galaxy S4 uh, and then of course we do have the the Galaxy uh, Galaxy Note 3 here with a 5.7 inch display a little bit uh, bigger than the previous Note 5.5 inch variant uh, some key things here that is different is um, if you look at here at the front side of course you have a fingerprint scanner in here which I haven't checked out at the moment but I will uh, and some other things here of course is that we have a redesigned uh, button so now we have a multi multi-dosking button here instead of a menu button uh, which is actually a big difference because now it's probably going to be more in the Galaxy S5 way more um, inside the software where you have to like tap on a menu button on the screen uh, so um, here of course on my Galaxy and my Galaxy Note 3, uh, the way I multitask, I'm going to show you that, of course, let's just hold in the home button here, and uh, now if you try to do that thing uh, on the Galaxy S5, what's going to happen is it will, let's see here, um, it will just open up um, uh, Google, so you can quickly Google something, which is pretty nice, uh, actually. So that's how it's going to work over there. Uh, they have a little bit of a different shape. Uh, this one, I mean, the S5 looks a little bit, a um, little bit like almost like they're going back to the S2 design. Uh, a little bit weird, uh, even though I don't really care that much, but um, I kind of think that maybe even the Note 3 looks a little bit better here on the front side if you just look, but of course, the, this home button as well sticks out a little bit more because it is not a, uh, uh, it's not like a fingerprint reader. Uh, so I haven't tested it out, but it should be pretty cool. Um, what else? What else? Yes, of course, this one is uh, water resistant and dust resistant. resistant. So uh, from what I've seen, you should be able to put it in water and uh, not damage the phone. Of course, this one could be opened up because there's no, not, not bad water gets in there, but you have, of course, to make sure that this uh, back here is fully sealed or else it will be not fun uh, and because it is protecting here inside against water. And yeah, wait a second, before I remove this one, I can just say that uh, this is pretty funny. Both have these like book design kind of on the side. Um, little bit different here on the S5 uh, it's a little bit more clear you know, I can feel like this rounded design pretty interesting hmm yeah uh, but if you take off the back here you can see where it is getting protected well you see, you have to use some force here. Um, this is the thing that's protecting from water getting inside uh, around this whole little area. And you can see that it's this area inside here, which is uh, protecting. It's kind of funny, this one doesn't seem to be protected, but this one probably will be able to get inside of water then. Uh, you can see a lot of like sensors and, and shit that's being protected. Interesting stuff. Uh, this is the new um, uh, heart rate sensor. So you can measure your heart rate, which is pretty random. I'm also getting paranoid when I'm putting this one on if it is fully sealed. As you see, I mean, if you miss at an area, that's not going to be fun. Uh, from what I've heard from the sound, uh, the sound could definitely be better. I mean, they definitely got a lot to work on that Samsung. Stay here on the back, which is not super good. Uh, seems to have an opening though. Pretty fun, funny here uh, that on the uh, on the uh, on the Note 3, they had like a letter design. I think that they skipped this material uh, just because um, they wanted to make it waterproof because that uh, will save a lot of devices that's getting damaged by that. Um, so this one has like a, 
um, like the dotted pattern on the back which doesn't really look that bad but I don't think I 100% is like something like wow um, not something revolutionary uh, you can see that it has a way more flat UI look uh, on buttons or on icons and stuff like look at the internet icon looks totally different like a flat UI look um, and also in here more of a rounded off design uh, in the brand new Galaxy S5 I kind of like it actually uh, I like it a lot uh, I think it looks modern or at least better than the old version here of uh, uh, all touchways and uh, definitely looks way more cool inside of the menus here where you can see these um, rounded off icons looks pretty fresh I think uh, and also what you can do here is you can go to the normal tab view as well if you want that but I enjoy this more grid view looking fresh feels like it's very easy to find what you want uh, in, inside of uh, that little area. Uh, what else uh, was it that I was thinking about? Um, I mean, I definitely will take a look at the camera as well. I mean, we, we're getting an upgrade of the camera. I think it is. Uh, wait a sec, what the fuck's happening? No, I don't want to update. You can see I have an update of Samsung apps. I don't want to upgrade that right now. Uh, but the app, you can see here, round off the sign inside of the app as well. When you're taking pictures, uh, 60 megapixel shooter inside of the uh, uh, inside of the Galaxy S5, uh, which is definitely going to be fun, and I'm going to take a look at that. Uh, in, in terms of processor and everything, it's pretty much it, it very very the same. Uh, you have Snapdragon 800 here, Snapdragon 801. And Snapdragon 801 definitely seems to be performing better in a lot of games uh, when I've been testing out some gaming. So I probably will continue on uh, doing some more testing with that. But both have also 1080p displays and I'm probably going to make a separate video and um, just to check out the, the display a lot more uh, because that can definitely be, be some fun little things. Uh, if we go down, uh, this is something that's pretty random. The Galaxy Note 3 was uh, came with a pretty affordable price, and then you got the 32 gigabyte variant. Now um, the S um, the S4 the S5, I mean, uh, is 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 only coming here in 16 gigabyte variant from what I saw. So it seems like they're going back a little bit. 16 gigabyte. I mean, we definitely want to step that up to 32 gigabyte because you can only have a few hind games installed, and if you want to have a lot of them, then it's not going to be as fun. Uh, it's also a little bit higher clock than quad core, uh, quad core 2.5 gigahertz here, uh, and here on my Galaxy Note 3, it is uh, quad core 2.3 gigahertz, so 2.5, uh, a little bit higher there. You can see the apps page here where they basically have removed this uh, widget page because probably not a lot of people use it I think not because it's, it's a little bit random uh, I, I, I rarely use it actually so that could be a reason why they removed it because I, I don't use it so you know uh, Adreno 330 GP on both these so gaming experience should be pretty familiar um, which could also be good to know here uh, of course in terms of size I mean there is there is a difference, um, but still not a super big difference. I mean, you get some extra screen space on this boy, definitely, and you get this like um, that you don't have to be as careful. You can see a new animation here, but they they are pretty similar. Uh, if we also move on to check out how many. And milliamps we do get on the battery side uh, 2600 milliamps wait a sec no that's wrong uh, of course you get 3100 milliamp battery inside of no 3200 actually it's 3200 milliamp battery well I thought it was 3100 but 3200 milliamp battery at least over 3000 milliamp battery inside of the Galaxy Note 3 uh, versus 2800 milliamp battery which is almost the same uh, or I mean 400 extra milliamps that is that is pretty nice actually but then again, it has like a bigger display. Maybe they, that takes more battery life. I think that overall uh, we'll see a, a pretty pretty similar uh, battery life 
experience uh, overall and then of course we do have some new modes that um, I want to take a look at like ultra power saving mode which is like an extreme mode uh, to save even more battery inside of the Galaxy S5. Uh, you can also see that the menus um, looks a little bit more clean on the sides. They cleaned it up a little bit, so it looks a little bit more fresh. You can see how many days you can use the device almost in ultra power saving mode. So it doesn't use any colors, like only like black and white, and that's, that's probably to save even more battery. Um, you can still use the internet browser, you can still call people, message, text people and, 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 and have some fun with that. Uh, this one, my Galaxy Note 3 only has the traditional uh, energy saving mode, um, which is like slowing it down a little bit but still using colors and probably not even close to as good as this uh, ultra power saving mode uh, inside of the, um, the, 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 the Galaxy Galaxy S5 and I've yet to check out a ton of other things of course on the um, on the Galaxy S5 I mean I haven't had it for that long uh, so that would definitely be fun and if there's anything specific that you want me to check out and compare more in a video uh, definitely let me know about that I mean there's I mean I can do like gaming videos I mean I made separate gaming videos but side by side uh, that can also definitely be be some fun stuff. Uh, overall, I mean, in experience and smoothness, I mean, you're going to see pretty pretty similar stuff. Uh, but what I'm very much interested in, in, especially in the Galaxy S5, is the new software, uh, which definitely feels fresh. And, and I don't know if the Galaxy Galaxy S4 or the Galaxy Note 3 is going to get that in the future. I, I guess they won't because... I mean, if they don't get that, then that's gonna make the Galaxy S5 even more reasons why people would pick it up because it has this new like software and UI look, um, which I definitely do enjoy. Uh, a little bit weird here, multitasking, I think it looks a little bit ugly here on the side. Um, I mean, with this blue random icon, I mean, it looks a little bit random, I think, personally. Uh, they should definitely try to fix that. Uh, make it look a little bit more fresh. So yeah, just quickly a video and talking a little bit here, doing some random comparisons and stuff. And I'll probably will be doing more videos. I like both these two devices at the moment a lot. So yeah, stay tuned for more awesome stuff. Peace out.